Gary from Mr. G Shave, back for a Wednesday straight shave. Um, I know that's two straight shaves in a row, but I had to redo last Wednesday's straight shave, uh, as you all know if you watched my last video. Um, right, so today is the last of the pass around razors. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to pass them on until I'm out of quarantine, so I think that's Wednesday next, no, it's Thursday next week. So, um, yeah, I'll be putting a, a notice up in the group. But yeah, um, what am I using today? Well, I, I'm going to keep you in suspense. <laughs> uh, bowl today is the Giles Shaving Pedestal Bowl. So just um, having a bit of a feature on the Giles Shaving Bowls. I don't have the one with a handle, but I think I'm going to buy one. So... <clears throat> um, the brush is my Razor Rock 400 Aluminium Limited Edition brush. So there it is. I, I really do like this brush. Um, it's got some nice weight to it. And then last but not, not least, um, I'm using <clears throat> the Ale Razor. So for the, those of you that don't know much about the Ale Razor, here it comes. Nice slow reveal. That is an absolute beast. That is mad. And to think that this only cost 225 or 200, well, is it 225? Between 225 and 2335. Oh, I think that's great value for money for that. That's stunning. And apparently it's made from an old rail, railway track or something like that. I can't remember the exact details. <clears throat> and I'm sure I'll get shot down because I didn't know the, uh, the details of this, but it's over an inch. I think it's 33 centimeters, 33 centimeters. Wow, that would be big. 33 millimeters. So it's, it's over an inch. Um, wow, stunning looking razor. So as is the norm, <clears throat> I've introduced the hardware, I'll go through the software as I use it. I'm going to get myself ready and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. I know I said I was going to get myself ready, I've got the lather ready basically. <laughs> Just going to wet the face down. I could have um, used my spray, I forgot. I'll put a bit of residual soap that was left on uh, my spoon. Um, on my face, so there is a little bit on there already. So uh, I'm using a Roma bar again. I'll bring that back. Got this off Amazon. Not very expensive, but does the job. And just rub that all over the surface to be shaved. There's posh. <laughs> Right, so that's that done. I'm going to rub the rest of the oil on my arms. And we're just going to go straight on. So I'm going to add a bit more water. And check that I'm recording externally, I am. Um, so the soap today is Wickham Soap Company Club Cola. So there you go, that's it there. If you want to know the ingredients, I'll turn it around and you can read, pause it and look at the ingredients. But this is excellent soap. I've already lathered it up and I've got it fairly well hydrated. So there it is there. Uh, and we'll just get on with the shave. So how's your week been? I hope uh, it's been a, less eventful than mine. Well, my, mine's been really boring actually, so I hope it's actually been more eventful. <laughs> I've just been stuck inside. Um, <clears throat> I mean, we have had work carried out on the external part of the house, which was already being undertaken when <clears throat> we found out my son had COVID. Um, and uh, 
but because it's outside and we don't actually need to make any physical contact with them they decided that they would continue which is fine I mean all our windows are shut they, they, they at no point did, I mean the most of the time they're on the roof so <clears throat> so yeah nowhere near us um, but yeah fun and games eh but yeah so I hope in some respects your your week's been more eventful than mine and in other respects um, less eventful shall we say right so here's the ale razor I'll show it to you again just before I use this I'm a little bit hesitant I'm looking forward to this I really am um, but it's also you know it's a meat cleaver <laughs> Right, here goes then. So with the grain, spine down. I don't know whether you can hear that, but there is work going on outside, but that's not us now. That's ours is finished. <clears throat> so this is really nice, really, really nice. How does it feel compared to the others? Heavier, more intimidating. Um, yeah, you, you really know you've got a straight razor in your hand here. Wow. Stunning. Really, really nice. Blade down first. I'm going to go so much higher up my head to put the spine down first. really nice I am being uh, less chatty shall we say because let's face it when you've got a a, a weapon like this in your hands it's um, <clears throat> enough to silence anybody It's very well hydrated. I'm dropping soap all over the place. Which is exactly how I wanted it, because that's when the soap is at its slickest. Excellent, excellent shaving experience. Um, really nice Rosa, John. Really nice. The question's going to be, which do I prefer? It's really difficult. I mean, that razor is hu is huge. Um, but does it shave better? 
than say a Drew Dick or a Tiazar? That's an interesting question. I guess the weight would make a difference. If it had a different edge on it, it would make a difference. Um, I don't think they've got different edges on. I think um, that John's prepared these using his latest stones. But to be honest, even if he had used different grinds on each razor, um, I'm probably not experienced enough to tell the difference. Although, having said that, I did notice the difference when I got my last razor honed by him. That was a lot smoother than it originally started out, but then, you know, you'd expect that. And also, I think the first razor I had was a shorty, which was basically a customised gold dollar. And when he did the special special hones for me, that was on a Wade and Butcher. So completely different razors. But it certainly felt a lot smoother the last time he sent me my Wade and Butcher back. Right, so we're going against the grain. I think this, not against the grain, across the grain, and obviously on this side it's straight up. I'm really liking this. Can I keep it, John? <laughs> um, it is nice. And, and trying to get back to the <clears throat> question of whether it shows better than the others. Not sure. If I'm honest, I'm not really sure. I like the feedback better on this, but I think this is a hollow ground, um, or it's certainly not a quarter. Anyway, at least I don't think it is. There's the uh, tip. But it is beautiful, and I love the, the way this curves out slightly. Really nice. Wow, that's almost BBS on the second pass. Loving this. This is going to be interesting. Sure, did I nick myself there? No. This is definitely an experience. <clears throat> One of the 
would I pay 225, 235 pound for this? Yeah, hell I would. This is a beautiful razor. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Trying to get in here. That's better. Just trying to trim up the beard a little bit. Right, so third pass. Let's talk about the soap a little bit. I think everybody knows Wickham's. This Club Cola is literally, it's just like pouring Coke. Or, or Pepsi or whatever into a glass and having a slice of lemon in there and let it sit for a little while and that smell of coca-cola with light lemon and I'd say scent strength about four or five it, 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 it's excellent and slickness on this is again it's 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 one of those soaps it's like the good fellow smile the slickness on this is stunning. Oh, I didn't add any more water. Might as well do that now. This looks like it's, the ladder's dried out a little bit. <clears throat> That's better. Get that sheen back. I'll tell you, I love this. DE shaving is a lot easier. It's certainly more satisfying than um, than cartridge razor shaving. But this shaving is just another step up. It just, it's so relaxing for me. Yes, I'm, I am nervous with this razor, but I just enjoy the shave so much more with a straight razor than I do with a DE. Don't get me wrong, I love my DEs and I would never give them up. <clears throat> um, and they're quicker, you know. Um, I don't take as much time, I don't think, to shave with a DE as I do with one of these, for obvious reasons. So against the grain is a cross on this side. I thought I just caught myself there. It was only just, only just bit, but hey ho. I don't know whether you can hear that feedback, but that's <laughs> really noisy. I'm just going to wipe, just rinse off this cloth briefly. I've run out of space again. <clears throat> but yeah, this, 
the size of this is quite intimidating but actually the technique there's not a lot of difference um, really isn't for me anyway I would say, I'm going to finish the pass before I, give my verdict. The thing that makes this quite difficult to compare is the edges are all done by John June, as far as I'm aware. I think he's freshly honed these and they're probably all done on the same stones, correct me if I'm wrong John. <clears throat> so they they all have very similar uh, shave feel to me, but again, I'm I'm you know when you look at how many shaves I've done, I think I must be on shave twenty seven something like that. Um, and I don't use straights off camera, I only use them on camera. I haven't got enough time in the week to, to do more straight shaves off camera. Because slowly I went from one video a, uh, a week to two a week to three a week to four a week. So More Alan. Excellent. So yeah, trying to tell the difference between the edges that's that's really hard because at the end of the day they're all they might be different steels and the edge might feel slightly different but I'm not good enough to tell the difference <clears throat> so that feels really smooth which do I prefer if I'm honest I, I, I really do like the Drew Dick um, and I really like the TAs out and I really like the ale it's really hard for me to choose which one I'd go for um, they all look stunning for their own reasons. I think for, for shock and awe, that is definitely <laughs> the winner, yeah? But for finesse, maybe, um, I would say, certainly for finesse, I would say the TAs are with that French point and, and the scales, they're stunning. They are stunning. Value for money though, uh, because as far as I understand, the Drew Dick with plain scales instead of those custom scales, those, those uh, special scales that were on on the that was the red and red sort of um, see-through scales with the wood in it inlays in it as well, the peacock uh, scales. Um, if you weren't, if you were to have a standard, say, wood scales or or um, plastic scales or whatever, that would only be one hundred and eighty-five pounds, and that to me represents excellent value for money. So, in their own categories, I would say they're all winners. Um, if I could only have one, that's a again a really difficult question. Really difficult question. Um, this is the pickup pass by the way, still got loads of leather left here, absolutely loads, 
I love this scent. This is such a nice scent. I know it's the favourite of quite a few shavers out there, so. <clears throat> I'm still trying to decide on my if I could only pick one. I think I'd probably have the Drew Dick, but maybe with the French tip and just plain scale, plain wood scales. I wouldn't have those fancy scales. But if out of these three I had to choose one and couldn't change anything, then I'd probably go for the TASR. If I could change the scales, I'd definitely go for the Drew Dick. Reason I wouldn't go for this one, as much as I'm probably going to buy one if I if I uh, if I can. Um, not as manoeuvrable, maybe a bit OTT, but I, I love I love the OTT side of this. Um, I love the wooden handle on it, really nice, um, and I and I like the background to it, what it's made from, and things like that. I'm sure I saw somewhere it was made of something to do with railway tracks, or I don't know. I could be completely wrong. <clears throat> don't get me wrong I don't find this difficult and I think given time and practice I'd, I'd get as good a shape with this as I would with either of the other two. And I've got a, a great shave, I'm just saying. Um, I have to think more when I'm using this. I really do and I think you know I've cut myself with this one I don't think I've cut myself with the other well I think I did cut with that a light eh? but that was Wednesday when I was high as a kite on tramadol and I've found a technique that gives me almost BBS in these problem areas here and that is to go sort of diagonally across down that way. This, this side I just I'm never able to get it right that'll do that will do so I'm going to do what I usually do I'm going to clean clean everything up and I'll be right back right all cleaned up post shave time which means cold rinse time to see how it compares. Oh, I've wiped all the water off and emptied the spray.
Alright, here it goes. Mm, quite a bit of burn there. I must have come close. I would say up there was probably about a 5 or 6 out of 10, just in one spot right there. Probably where I almost cut myself. Down here is a 3 or a 4, cheeks wise, 2. Oh. Yeah, that's going up to 5, 6 round, round the back there. <clears throat> And right there, yeah, where I just nicked myself. Well, on your slight nick, it stopped on its own. Didn't need any intervention. It's just a graze. But I did think I'd cut myself there, but I, evidently not. Right, so that was a very successful shave, and I'm sure, given time, I'd, I'd get pretty good at shaving with that razor uh, but right now as I say I think for style and finesse I would go definitely go with the TASR for value and the fact it's British and um, I've got already got well I've got a TASR as well but There's just something about Drew Dick razors. I like the smile on them and things like that. Um, although I think that only had a slight smile. I've seen some razors with a, a bigger smile. But yeah, right. Next, lemon, Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. <clears throat> Great stuff this. Oops, don't know why I unscrewed the cap. I love that scent. I love those, I must admit. I don't have any of the other sort of scents that Thayer's do because I fell in love with Thayer's lemon straight away. L absolutely love it. So after shave wise, it's going to be Duru, which is a Turkish cologne, very cheap. The reason I'm using this is I think the last time, yeah, the all season lemon cologne that I'm running out of now has a nicer scent. This has more of a lemon sherbet sort of scent to me. There's something sherbety. Those of you in the US, if you've never had a the licorice sherbet, you won't, you won't really know. Um, but <clears throat> very, very pleasant scent. Love the Duru, but I think out of the two, I prefer the All Seasons. But there you go. Right. 1912 Club Cola. This is the balm. Give it a bit of a shake. And it's more of a gel than a cream. Oh. oh, such a great. <laughs> you just get that Coke with lemon in it <laughs> straight away. It's brilliant. Yeah, so final verdict each of these razors fits in its own category. Shock and awe, the ale wins hands down. Style and finesse, I think I'd give it to the TASR. Value for money, buy British, and pretty much any other reason I can think of, I'd probably go for the Drew, Drew Dick. Um, I, I, I love, love his razors, so um, what can I say? And at that value, you know, mine was my, the, the one that I actually owned myself. That's very expensive, but I, I, I went all in. I wanted a real, I, I wanted a shock and awe razor. You know, that's what I wanted. Something that, that really stood out above the rest. Um, and that's what I got. So 
But I, I love all three of these razors and I'd have all three in my den without question. Be more than happy to have all of these or any one of these in my den. Out of these, which would I probably buy? Probably the Ale, because I've already got a TASR and I've already got a Drew Dick, so that's the reason I'd have the Ale. So that's it. So I'm back again on Friday for my head shave. Hope to see you there. Bye for now.